So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing operations on sets. In the previous video, we have seen union and intersection and update operation, union and union update, intersection and intersection update, how to modify a set with the help of union and intersection also, right. Now in this video, we will talking about difference and symmetric difference, like difference and difference update, symmetric difference and symmetric difference update, right. So let's see this, we will be taking the same example, those set that we have taken in the previous video, right. Okay, now this is our file we are having here the set 1, set 2 and set 3. Now let's see first of all difference. So we have, we can do this with both, we have a method and we have operator also. So with the help of method we'll see, we'll do what set 1 dot difference method, difference and in bracket we are suppose passing another set. So you same you can call this method on one set and you can pass another set into argument as an argument. So let's just print what it will give. See, so the difference I have told you in the previous video, what difference will give? Set 1 dot difference set 2, it will give like, it's like set 1 minus set 2. So it will give the item in set 1, but which are not in set 2 item in set 1 but not in set 2. So let's run this then you will get it better. See I have told you it will give set of items which are in set 1 but not in set 2. Ram is it in set 2? No. So Ram is there. Sham is also not in set 2. So Sham is there. Jenny but Jenny is set 2 also. So it will not give Jenny only give Ram and Sham right. And with the help of operator also we can do something like this set uh, 1 minus set 2 that's it and you can print this thing right. So let's just comment this out and do this thing. So same it will give Ram and Shyam right. But same here both the operand should be set and set but here it is not compulsory set 1 dot difference if you do not pass here yes, set 2 rather than that you can pass any iterable of values like I am passing this time a tuple and in tuple I am having values like Mohan and same Shiva okay let's just comment this out so let's run this it will give Ram, Sham and Jenny because it will give the values in set 1 but not here. Ram is not here, it will give this value. Sham is not here in this set. Jenny is not here in this because this is actually a tuple but it will convert this into first set. Jenny is also not in this set so it will give Jenny, right. So for these methods it is not compulsory that both the operands should be set like this, like in this, this. And on multiple set also we can do this thing right so if i pass a set one dot difference and i am passing rather than this set two comma set three fine let's run this and just update this set then you will get it better in this set i am adding down so what do you think what output you should get before checking the output just pause the video and think what output you will get for this thing. Now let us run this and we are getting sham only first because it will be performed from left to right. Set 1 door difference set 2 in that case it will give ram and sham. Now on that it will perform with third set. So door difference set 3. So ram and sham but ram is in set 3 so ram would also be discarded. We are left with sham only so it will give sham only. I hope you got this. Same set 1 minus set 2 minus set 3 like this we can do. Now if you want to update the set with the difference update then we have a method difference update to modify a set like we are having if you want to modify set 1 then you just write down that name of that set set 1 dot d i double f difference update see you got this method difference update and here I am passing suppose set 2. Now set 1 has been updated. So set 1 if you want to print 
it will give only Ram and Sham. What it will do? It will return, it will update set 1 and it will return all the elements which are in set 1 but not in set 2. So in set 1 we have Ram and Sham but Jenny is set in set 2. So it will not take Jenny, Ram and Sham, right. So now set 1 has been updated. If you want to update set 2, okay, you can write down here set 2. So now at this time set 2 has been updated. If I print set 2, see now what output you will get. Set 1 is same, Jenny, Ram and Sham, all the three values, but set 2 has been updated. Now set 2 is an empty set because in set 2, what it will give? It will be having all the value, set of all the values which are in set 2, but okay, not in set 1 because set 2 minus set 2 difference, obviously that would be a null. So let's run this again. See, this time we are getting G and Akash for set 2. G and Akash because Jenny is in set 1 so it will need not take Jenny okay. This is how you can update any set so rather than the set of you can pass any values also in the form of list or tuple with that only we, it can perform difference update right. So this is what difference and difference update now let us see symmetric difference and symmetric difference update okay symmetric difference is what it will return the set of all values which are in either like set 1 and set 2, set 1 or set 2 but not in both. In other terms we can write down if you are going to find out symmetric difference of set 1 and set 2. So set 1 union set 2 minus set 1 intersection set 2. So that is symmetric difference. Maybe if you are not getting this lecture so you must read about these operations theoretically right. In the previous video we have I have discussed this thing with the help of one example. So set 1 dot symmetric difference and I am calling this on set 2 okay. Let us print this what it will give. Symmetric difference of set 1 and set 2. See Ram, Akash, Jia and Sham. So it will return like set of all the elements either in set 1 or set 2 but not in both. So Ram, Sham, Jenny, Jia, Akash it will give but Jenny is in both. So it will not take Jenny. I have told you it is set of all the elements it will return set of all the elements which are either in set 1 or set 2 but not in both. Jenny is in both the set. So it will not take Jenny it will not return Jenny. It will return only Ram, Sham, Ji and Akash, right? Okay, so this is what symmetric difference, right? So as we have seen like union, you can do union of set 1 and set 2 and minus intersection of set 1 and set 2. Intersection is Jenny only. So you can minus Jenny from union of set 1 and set 2. So this is symmetric difference. Now, if you want to perform this thing on multiple sets, then that is not allowed here. Set 1 and set 3. <clears throat> the symmetric difference, please note the sound, is not allowed on multiple set. If I run this, <clears throat> you will get an error. See, symmetric difference takes exactly one argument and you have passed two arguments, set 1 and set 2. So, this is not allowed. Now, with the help of uh, operator also, we can do this thing. So, let us comment this out. And what is the operator of this? Set 1. It is what the sub of XOR. So, this the operator which is on uh, 6, numeric 6, set 2. This is what same thing you will get. This is symmetric difference of these two set. Let me just run this and I will show you what output you will get. See Ram, Shamji, and Akash. Okay. But this operator you can apply on multiple set. This operator can be applied on multiple set but this method we cannot apply. So let us run this again and it will give Ankur Akash, Sham, Pradeep, Jia. So on the three set we have applied this thing. Okay. Now if you want to update the set so there is also a if you I want to update set 2 now set 2 dot symmetric difference update we have a method here right and here we can pass like set 1. So what it will do 
we will just now we have updated what set 2 so we will print set 2 set 1 is added as it is because symmetric difference update we have called this function on set 2 so set 2 has been updated now so it will update set 2 which is having elements which are found in both set 1 either in set 1 and set 2 but not in both right so let's run this now set 2 is akash ram ji and sham ram sham ji and akash because jenny is in both so it will not take jenny either in set 1 or set 2 the element but not in both right so this is how you can update the set any set with the help of these methods also right you can update set 1 also so you can call this method or say on set 1 and here rather than set if you want to pass, uh, pass any other thing like a tuple I want to pass only two names and I'll print set 1 and set 2 both Mohan and Shiva a tuple I am passing so now see set 2 is Jia Jenny Akash right set 2 is Jenny Jia and Akash and set 1 is because we have updated set 1 so set 1 is now Ram Sham Shiva Mohan and Jenny it will update set 1 having retaining only those items which are either in this set 1 or here whatever you pass here but not in both so Mohan and Shiva these are not in set 1 so it will add both Mohan and Shiva here right so this is how you can update any set so that's it about difference and symmetric difference if you are not getting these operations please read out these operations per first theoretically understand what is union what is intersection what is difference what is symmetric difference right using Venn diagram and all then get back to this practical type of thing right better to write down first of all set all the sets and with the help of pen and paper with dry run you can say a kind of thing dry run first of all the code see what output you are getting why you are getting that output and then run that thing on computer and tell you are getting the same output or not right? then you will get it better right so in the next video we will see some more uh, you know about sets like disjoint sets and superset proper set how to find out these things so that would be next part of this uh, video right so now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care